we take these veterans, strip them of their civilian clothes, make them one. All six of you, all 600 of you become one. You don't worry about yourself, you worry about your comrade. We make them into one unit. We send them off doing ungodly things to keep us safe. And when they come back, we give them their civilian clothes, we give them some help, we say, thank you very much for your service, and they stand there and say, wait a minute, where's my team? Uh, the spouses and the caregivers, man, they suffer so much, and, and it's true. We have gotten so much light and so much spotlight since these wars have kicked off in Iraq and Afghanistan, and unfortunately, the spouses, the caregivers, the children have kind of fallen by the wayside, and they just kind of try and stay afloat in our wake. And it's not hard because we leave a massive wake. Depending on how severe our symptoms are, trust me, it, it can be bad. And I tell you what, I will wear this ring proudly because I know four people, three of which I fought with, who have taken their lives by their own hand, one of which was a good friend of mine who is actually a double amputee. And I'll guarantee you this, he didn't take his life because he's a double amputee. And I'm going, you know, I'm back in USA going, why am I acting like this? What's wrong with me? Um, you know, months down the line, I'm, I'm still unemployed. And why can't I find a job? I was successful in the military. And you know, all these mental health issues are coming up. And I kept asking myself, why am I feeling this way? What, why, why am I acting this way? What am I not doing? And it finally took a friend, um, a very good friend of 15 years, literally taking me by the hand and getting me connected to the resources that, the limited resources that were there in Amarillo. But until we educate counselors, um, pastors, school educators, everybody in, in that community, that it's okay. You know, there, there is stigma with mental health. But educate them that, you know, this stigma is only there if you allow it to be. Because there's wonderful treatments out there. There's, there's so many ways to get connected. I'm very, like I said, I'm very proud to be a, a part of the Military Veteran Peer Network.